This is Brian, and I'm joined today by Bradford Mitchell at worshiptutorials.com. So today we have a, a demo and a review of some Porter pickups. Porter pickups are awesome, and uh, I think I have them in almost every guitar that I own. Virtually. And so <laughs> this is a, no exception. This is a guitar that uh, that I sort of built. What do they call these? A parts caster? Yeah. Put it together myself. I actually finished this one myself. Uh, this I wanted to try my hand at a sunburst finish, and it looks wonderful. How did, how did I do? It looks wonderful, Brian. Thank you. I keep forgetting you did that. I, I feel did. Like, I feel like you bought it. It just looks so good. No, I did this. You can tell if you look up close. You can see that there's some. It's not pro, Meh. but I like it. But uh, really, though, the sweetest thing about this guitar are the pickups, and uh, this is the Porter Nine T set of pickups. So uh, Porter on the website describes these as what, like a P90 thing? Like hybrid-y kind of like a hybrid influenced. Yeah, P90 meets injected. Telecaster yeah. pickup. Now, I have a, a, a guitar with Porter P90s in it. So Bradford is, uh, through the magic of video editing, now holding a, uh, a different guitar that Whoa. has that has Porter P90s in it, like traditional P90 pickups. Traditional, yeah. Like, they're, they're often called soap bar pickups because they look like bars of soap, kind of. And uh, this is a Reverend guitar. Beautiful guitar. Sounds great. It is. Thanks fun to, to play, too. Thanks to the upgraded pickups. Yeah, it is fun to play. And this uh, would be his 9T set, which is like, like we just said, a P90 meets Telecaster-style pickup. So we've been playing these two today, kind of back-to-back. -back. How would you say that they sound different or similar? Well, these are... They definitely have a little bit more like hair yeah. on the outside, but that's definitely like a P90 thing. It's like a yeah. single coil, like a mid, well, a fat single coil mid range, yeah, yeah, really which super hit mid range heavy. Which I didn't really think anything of a while. I was just like pickups or pickups, and I just I don't know. But these Not are the um, case. several years ago is when I started realizing P90s are, are great. They're fun. Like they get clean, sure, but mm -hmm. um, regular P90s don't seem to be like they don't seem to do as well. I don't. Yeah. I like. I prefer. To use P90s to get like a little bit of hair of a grit. These don't do the exact same thing unless you like. You can set them up that way, but they don't have that same kind of like natural like grit to them um, like a P90 would. But they still got a they lot have of the similarities. They, they have, have a char like yeah. a P90 character to them. Mm -hmm. But you can still there's like a tel there's there, the Telecaster thing is still kind of there. Oh yeah, absolutely. a little bit. Yeah, it's very so, unique. It's a really cool sound. It's different than, than a lot of pickups I've tried. Yeah. They definitely have their own thing. So rather than to keep talking about them, uh, we're just going to let you listen to them. So Bradford is going to play for us uh, different positions. We're going to start with the neck pickup. Today we're playing through uh, the Agape Tribute, which is a staple here at Worship Tutorials. And uh, great amp, 18-watt tube amp. Um, what do you think of the Panama, Bradford? It's different. It's different. It's a Fender Champ thing. Yes. It's not quite a Fender Champ. I don't think the Champ had a tone knob on it. I'm not even sure. Was just, I think the Champ was just straight volume, and that's it. You just turn they're, it on. They're very go. unique. Um, so we're actually running dual amps uh, because we thought that would be fun. And so we're running... You're, all you're going to hear is the guitar into the amps, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing else. So we didn't have anything Maybe a little like, post-production reverb, but... Yeah, maybe a little, maybe a little bit of reverb, if anything. But really, uh, it's just guitar into the amps. We're running both of these bad boys, and we're gonna we set them up so that if you dig into this thing, it'll break up. Um, but if you kind of play light, it cleans up really well, which is a nice thing about these pickups, especially for worship leaders, because you yes. don't want to be stepping on stuff if yes. you can help it. Anything you can do to help you not have to step on stuff more often is great. So that's what yeah. any any of Porter's pickups are really Yeah, they're all that. really dynamic. Dynamic. That's if important. You dig in, they will they will bring it. But if you uh, back off, they'll stay nice and clean and pretty. So Bradford's going to demonstrate that now on the neck pickup.
So that was the neck pickup. The neck pickup, uh, this is one of the better neck pickups I think I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. It's got like that really, uh, I don't know how to describe it. You just heard it, like that chewy kind of. And it's not very bass heavy. Like we don't have it EQ that way, but still, like even then, like it's not like this contract yeah. where the neck pickup is like really thick and you almost don't like it because muddy, muddy yeah, is the word. Muddy, muddy is the word. Muddy. Said, it really is. It's not like it still sounds warm and big, but it's not yeah. super muddy, which I like. So, so we're gonna go from neck to middle position. Here it is. And we're back, and Bradford has yet another guitar featuring Porter Pickups. Porter Pickups. Back again with the white telly. <laughs> this one has, that's a pop culture YouTube reference yes. that I didn't know about, which was surprising, because I, 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 I feel that I'm pretty up on pop culture. Yeah, I feel like Brian especially for knows my, his way around YouTube. Especially for my age, yes. which is older than you might uh, than you might expect. I'm younger than you so, might think. So in the comments, take a guess at how old Bradford and I are, and uh, maybe we'll let you know. We'll comment the on this thing eventually. The winner does not get a prize. <laughs> you get to rule... <laughs> the comment section of this video. <laughs> you're the king. Okay. The queen. Uh, we're going to throw this thing onto the bridge, pick up position, and you're going to hear the bridge. Bradford, take it away. Yahtzee. So we hope that you have enjoyed Bradford's uh, tone demonstrations of the three pickup positions. A journey through tone. A journey through tone of the Porter 9T pickups, which are fantastic pickups. So if you're interested in uh, putting some new Porter 9T pickups in your Telecaster style guitar, definitely give uh, Brian Porter over at porterpickups.com a, uh, a look. You can email him through the website. You can go there and check out some more samples. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We hope that this has been helpful for you. We cannot recommend Porter Pickups enough. Obviously, but my recommendation is in the fact that I have put his pickups in all my guitars. Yep. Because they're good. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Bradford, for uh, playing and my demonstrating pleasure. these awesome pickups. My pleasure. See you next time. Bye. Bye.